Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos. Let's set that aside and jump right into the video. You probably had seen her from the test tutorial video. With many eggs and larvae, it's my fire ant queen, scientifically known as Sorenopsis geminara. This queen right here is fertile and has a considerable number of brood with no workers to be seen just yet. Once the workers emerge, the population of this colony will explode like fire. The first set of workers, also called nanitics, is the head start of the colony. They are the ones who will begin the population of fire ant workers. Sooner or later, their population will be so big and will need more and more space expansions. The tricky part of having a colony of fire ants is that they grow fast in population, even with a single queen. This species is also known to have major workers, which are bigger than average workers. Even if many keepers had tried mixing more than one queen of this species, they are known to be monogenous, meaning one colony of this species could only have one egg-laying queen. Having more than one queen during the founding stage is kinda okay, but when the workers come, they will choose only one queen and eliminate the other queens. A sad reality about fire ants and other monogenous species. For people living in a tropical country like the Philippines, nuptial flies of this particular species is common. Allays of these species have nuptial flies all year round, making them one of the easiest and the most common species to catch. Take note, queens of this species are claustral. This means that they do not need to be fed until they are workers. Basically, you just need to leave her in a test tube setup undisturbed for about 2 to 3 weeks without worrying about feeding the queen of these species. You can easily de determine a claustral queen by the fatness of her gaster. This species is also known for their stinging capabilities. Their stings, called solenopsin, has a painful sensation similar to that of fire burning your skin, hence the name fire ants. That also makes them capable of killing or threatening lives of their own enemies. This queen will continuously lay eggs, even if there are already tons and tons of workers and brood. You can just stop her majesty. Many people hate fire ants. Why? Because of their exploding population, stinging capabilities, and their invasion. These species had successfully invaded many parts of the world, making them one of, if not the most hated, ant species. Nah, I still believe that these ants can be great pets. We shouldn't underestimate or overestimate them. All organisms, big or small, are neutral. Each and everyone is created with balance. No other shall be better than everyone in all ways. They have their own rights, joys, and weaknesses. I hope you learned something about fire ants. I'll update you about this soon to be calling you once there are at least 10 workers. And that ends this video. Until then, see you guys on the next video.